Jay, you've just signed a, a three-year deal at QPR. You must be absolutely delighted to be here. Yes, fantastic. Um, obviously, when the talks came about and I was offered to come down to meet a manager and uh, come to meet Les Ferdinand, I was quite excited and I'm happy to be here. You enjoyed a tremendous season last year at Bristol City with 12 goals in their promotion winning campaign. But this is a fresh start for you now and one that I'm sure you're really excited about. Yes, obviously um, the last two years of my career got to be put behind me now and obviously I'm here to come and do a job and hopefully I can bring what I did at Bristol down to Loftus Road. You're a London boy, was that part of the attraction? Obviously it's always going to be at a church and always being close to family and stuff and giving them the opportunity to come and actually watch me play football, obviously being far away from home. They haven't been able to do that over the last few years so it was obviously, uh, it, it gave me a little push to actually want to come here more. You spoke to Les Ferdinand and Chris Ramsey, two people that are very infectious to be around. How did they sell QPR to you? Just told me about what the club want to do over the course of the next season and then obviously Les is obviously, I mean, uh, Ex striker himself, obviously, we just spoke on behalf, and obviously, we're both all from the same country. Being my parents, being from St. Lucia, and they're all St. Lucia, so we had a little connection in the, in the background. And uh, so, we just thought I just thought it was the best thing for me to do. Spoke to Chris at length earlier this morning about the versatility you can bring to QBR players a nine, maybe just off as a ten, and also wide. Is versatility a key asset for you? Yeah, I've been a versatile player for most of my career now and obviously it's uh, sometimes it doesn't work for me being versatile but obviously in other circumstances it does and uh, once I'm in attacking for, uh, attacking for me no matter what position it is, it's all the same. A third sign in of the summer following two other players from League One in the, in the form of Masumo Luongo and Ben Gladwin from Swindon. You'd have come up against them last season. Can you give us any early insight as to what they can bring to the table? Uh, Massimo was a really tidy centre midfielder. I was also on, he came on loan to Ipswich while I was there. Really tidy midfielder, good, good ball player, has got a really good eye for a pass. And uh, Gladys is like a really, he's an athlete, he can carry the ball, he's got a great strike on him, and they're both really good footballers. We're conducting this interview looking out onto the Loftus Road surface to your left. Looking forward to getting out there and pulling that QBR shirt on now, I can imagine. Yeah, I can't wait. And obviously, that's a great, great stadium in a great area and obviously close to being to home for me. So I just can't wait to go out there and excite the fans. Just over three weeks now until the squad return for pre-season training. Is it a case of rest and relaxation or will you be beasting yourself in the gym between now and that first day back? Yeah, we've got to get, got to get ready for pre-season. Pre-season is not an easy period of the season probably the most difficult and obviously you have to make sure your body's pre prepared and ready to go. What would your message be finally to the QBR supporters who will be looking forward to seeing you pulling on that famous blue and white jersey? Get ready to get out of your seats.